Vaccines are very safe. If someone gets sick after vaccination, it is usually either a coincidence, an error in administering the vaccine, or very rarely a problem with the vaccine itself. That's why we have vaccine safety systems. Robust vaccine safety systems allow health workers and experts to react immediately to any problems that may arise. They can examine the problem rigorously and scientifically look at the data and then promptly address the problem. WHO works closely with countries to make sure that vaccines can do what they do best, prevent disease without risks. New vaccines against malaria, meningitis and encephalitis in Asia and Africa are now being thoroughly monitored with support from WHO. Vaccines are one of the safest tools we have to prevent disease and ensure a healthy future for all children. I think we cannot overemphasize the fact that, that we really don't have very good safety uh, monitoring systems in many countries and this adds to the miscommunication and the misapprehensions because we're not able to give clear-cut answers when people ask questions about the deaths that have occurred due to a particular vaccine and this always gets blown up in the media uh, one should be able to give uh, a, a very factual account of what exactly has happened and what the cause of deaths are but in most cases there's some obfuscation at that level and and therefore there's uh, less and less trust then in, in, in the system. Putting in place the mechanisms, whether they're cohort studies or whether they're sentinel surveillance sites, to be able to, uh, to monitor uh, what's going on and report back and then for corrective action to be taken because unexpected things could arise uh, after introduction and one always has to be prepared. As we've seen you know, in the history of many drugs, you've, uh, you've heard about, I mean, learned about adverse events only after the drug's been licensed and introduced into the population. So I think that, that risk is all, all, always there and the population needs to understand that and, and feel confident that mechanisms are being put in place to, to study uh, some of those things.